I'm Stan Lee. I've been writing stories for the young generation for the past 30 years. During this time, I think I've learned a lot about what young people think. More importantly, I think I've learned a lot about what young people are. We're going to try to present a voice that somebody will listen to. The voice is needed. We hope it will be ours. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only, Mr. Stanley. Stan was doing one of his panels and they asked me to come up and just say hi to him. I felt a little goofy, but I came up, I shook his hand. I think the microphone caught it, but I whispered in his ear. I said, hey, they just wanted me to come up here and shake your hand, but while I'm up here, I want to say thank you, you saved my life. Because the life that I have today, there's a direct line to that first comic book to hear. Well, Stan's best creation was always Stan. As a creative figure is one thing. Stan, as a personality, was able to somehow tap into his own larger-than-life, self-effacing and self-aggrandizing at the same time personality. As I would describe it, that P.T. Barnum aspect of him, it's just something he infused the group with, and it's something that the people who followed him have been able to kind of keep that energy going. I think Stan Lee is going to be an icon, what he represents, what he was able to accomplish. He built American mythology because stories are really what stay with us. Those characters that he created and what he infused Marvel, the brand with, have always shown through. Even if they have superpower, they have to be believable. What they do has to be what any normal person would do in those situations. And the idea that he championed all kinds of different voices, all kinds of points of view, and the concept of diversity and equality and conversations about you know, social politics, all these things he had been doing for, for years, and now it's at the forefront of everything that we talk about. I just think he was just connected in that way, and he was connected to who his true audience was and who he was really writing for. He complimented that with always being hopeful, with his own first-person personality of being Stan. My earliest memories of Stan were reading those soapboxes. You felt like he was talking directly to you and no one else. What I didn't realize was that there was a kid behind me at the candy store reading the same thing, feeling the exact same way. His ideology was very clear. It was very black and white, how to be good, how to treat people equally. And that's a really powerful impact, to lean into the light as much as you can, even if there's darkness all around you. In writing the soapboxes, I used to just talk to the readers, anything that came to my mind, just to make the books not seem like something cold and aloof and something you buy and you throw away. I wanted them to feel buying a Marvel book was like visiting an old friend. Without that, we wouldn't be experiencing the success we had today. People like that, creative geniuses like that, you can't help but walk away learning lessons. They, they have a way of delivering messages that you know, just resonate with those of us who, who, who have followed his work and followed the characters he's created. He made it feel intimate and that anybody could belong to it. We're really lucky to have him really define us because it's really given us something to move forward with. There will never be a world without Stanley. He's the heart of the Marvel Universe.